Well, my dear students, seventh grade, welcome back again with IGCSE ICT. Today, we are going to start with chapter 13, layout. But before we start, I want to remind you guys that you can ask any questions about the previous lessons at any time. So don't hesitate to ask, please do. So shall we start guys? Okay, let's go. Okay guys, let's start chapter 13. Guys, you can follow me by opening your book, page 120, 120, starting with chapter 13, layout. We are going, or particularly in this lesson, to discuss the following topics, introduction to layout, copy and paste files or uh, part of uh, text or something, cut and paste, drag and drop, capturing a screenshot, capturing an image from a website, import text from a website, copying data from a table, how to create a table, font size, bold, italic, and line, center line, and right and left line, line paragraph spacing, organizing the page layout. So this is the topics that we hope to finalize this lesson. I hope we will spend a good time in this lesson. Okay, so let's begin with the first one, introduction to the layout. Okay, so documents and the slides consist of different elements, such as text, images, charts, graph, tables, screenshots, and etc. The layout of the elements on the page is just as important as the content and it is needs to meet the needs of the target audience. So, let's start guys with the copy and paste. How to copy and paste? Let's open a file. Let's open any file here. Okay. This one, for example. So, how to copy and paste? To copy text in a document, select it. So, I need to copy this paragraph, for example. I just select it and highlight it. The selected text will be highlighted like that. And then right click on the mouse like that. And a menu will appear with a number of options, including the following cut copy and paste so i will choose copy and go over here or whatever i want just like here and right click again right click again then paste select paste as i see here it pasted the copy paragraph so if you click on copy the text will now be replaced in the temporary storage it's called the clipboard it's called the clipboard as you see here let me type another thing let me type another thing okay so i'm going here and just press enter and just type pioneer for example pioneer education schools for example so highlight this one highlight the name of the school right click and choose from the list copy and go wherever you want and just right click again then paste as you see, paste. So, how about the cut? Cut and paste, not just copy. To cut and paste, you simply select the text and right click like that. And from the resulting menu, select cut. Right click again and then cut. You see, it disappeared. When the text is cut, the text is taking out of the document you then click where you want the text to go and then right click and then select the paste so maybe i will go 
at the top of the page. Okay, like that, just enter and put it here. Right click and then paste, as you see. So right click and select paste when the text appears in the new position. A drag and a drop, a drag and a drop. A drag and a drop is a quick way of moving objects. You may drag and drop objects such as section of text, file, photographs, piece of clip, arts, and etc. Onto a document, you can also drag and drop a file into a location. Just like that, guys. Let me clarify that, guys. Let's go to the desktop. This is the desktop. So I want to move this folder. I just take this folder and put it here. Drag and drop. I want, for example, uh, this file. To put this file in this folder. I just take this file, drag it, and drop it here in the folder name picture. So this is the drag and the drop. It's simply drag and the drop. It's a, it's a quick way of moving the objects, or maybe you can move the pictures or the photos or anything you want. Just to drag and the drop. Okay. So guys, how to capturing a snapshot? How to capturing a snapshot. It's a very important because you will need this at 9th and 10th grade for the examination evidence. How to capturing a snapshot. Okay. So, in the practical examination, you may be required to show evidence of how you did something using the software. For example, you might be asked to produce evidence of table design for a database. You might have to, pro to provide this in a report. Documents outlined your findings when you are asked to do something and will therefore have to integrate the screenshot with the text in a word process document. To produce the snapshot without using a specialist software you can. Follow me guys. Display the screen you want to capture. For example, this one. I want to capture this one. Second, if you want a screenshot of everything on the screen, press CSCR key once. This one, guys. This one. Press this one, this key, guys. Okay? Press this key, guys. It's over here in the keyboard. It is over here in the keyboard, guys. Okay? This one. So, if you want to screenshot, just press on this. Press on this key. Three, the screenshot is copied to the temporary storage area called the clipboard. This can be pasted into a position in your document or slide or web page and etc. Let's do it with, with each other's guys. It's like that. Let's take a snapshot of the desktop. Just to press the BRT key. I just press it now and go to the target I want. Maybe here, for example. Okay. And paste. Right click. Paste. Okay. So this is the screenshot. This is the screenshot or capturing a screenshot. It's very easy. We discussed guys in chapter 12 images. I can control this image by clicking double click on this image. And do you remember guys? Crop if I want to crop it, if I want to rotate, if I want to compress the picture, if I want to adjust the brightness or the contrast, whatever. Okay. So this is the way that we can capturing an image without using special, without using a special software. Okay, guys. Capturing an image from website, how to do that? Just go to the website and just type, for example, uh, Jordan or Petra in Jordan, Petra in Jordan, for example, enter, 
go here for the images as you see here guys you see images and press here okay it will give you a number of images choose any one click left click then right click on the target picture or image and choose save image as save images as and write the name of the image for example Petra one on the desktop and save so I will get back again to the documents here and just saying and just saying insert insert picture through desktop I think it's called better ah, we found it here okay it's very easy this is the way we capturing or installing images through the internet through the internet it's very easy I guess it's very easy guys okay so how how to copy data from a table copy any table in the internet into Excel spreadsheet how to do that using Excel so I want to copy a table through the internet and just put it in the Excel how do that it's very easy guys okay Let's go directly to the internet and type for example data table looking for any tables here and for example let's choose anyone this one for example just highlight. highlight the table we want right click copy and go directly to excel software and go to the first cell in the spreadsheet a1 right click then paste as you see guys this is the table to see all the contents of the cells just to expand double click here to see all the contents you see guys so this is the table it's very easy this is the way that we can copy a table from an internet and insert it into excel spreadsheet okay okay guys so let's perform the next stage how to create a table in word document processing using data from csv file do you remember guys csv file csv file means comma separated value csv file using excel i'm already prepared csv file here in our folder so i will go directly and open the file csv this is the csv file so i want to copy this table and then i want to copy this table and then go directly to go directly to word to the word not all the table maybe i will take just seven rows okay copy and then go to word as you see here at the end of the file for example and paste you see guys you see guys it's just very easy it's just very easy to take any table and just paste in word processing if i want to clarify the table i just go here layout design border and shading and okay so as you see here this is the table this is the table okay guys so how to how to justify the font size the ball area lake and a line left center right okay it's very easy guys i just go here for example for the first one and highlight and go here for the font size i just choose 18 point bold 
italic, it's like that. Underline, it will put a line under the word. Okay. This is how there is we a very can. important controlling the font size, the font type, the bold, italic, underline, and justify it to the left, center, justify it to the right, full justified. And what else? Maybe I can highlight all these rows and controlling the line spacing. It's here on the paragraph. This one is the paragraph, guys. This one is for the paragraph, guys. This one is related to the paragraph. So I just before that highlight these all lines and go to the spacing. This one line and paragraph spacing. I need the spacing one point or one point one five or two. You see, guys, two point five three. This controlling the space between the lines. This control the space between lines. This one is decreasing the indent and increasing the indent. So this is the line and paragraph spacing. And finally, guys. We are going to talk now about the organizing the page layout, organizing the page layout, the base size, orientation, and margin. Okay, so we go directly to the page layout. Where is the page layout? It's here, guys. This is the page layout. This is the page layout. It's controlling the page layout. So let's go to the page layout, guys. And then we have here margins. What do you mean by margins? Margins. Let's choose custom margins. The margins gives you the margins from the top. It's the edges. It's the place that you can write on the page. It's from the top, for example, two inches and two inches from the bottom and two inches from the left and two inches from the right. This is the gutter. No need to use it. Okay, the page is portrait or landscape. This page is portrait. This one is portrait. But if I need it as a landscape, I will choose that. You see, guys, the page? It will look like that. It will look like more white. Let's get back again to the orientation. Portrait. This is the portrait. So the margins, you will the margins here, you will specify the margins from the top, bottom, left, and right, and the orientation of the page. And also we can choose the size of the page. We have the letter, we have the A4. The most popular is the A4. The most popular page is the A4. That helps us in the examination, the A4. Okay. The column, how many columns we need in the page? One like that, or two column like that. This is two column. Three column, left, right. So you can choose. So this is the way that we can controlling the page layout and the margins. Okay, but if I want to insert here break, how to use a break? I just go directly to insert. It's like here, insert. insert and then as you see here guys insert cover page or a blank page or page break no i need page break okay so it will insert a whole page between the dedicated selection okay okay guys so how to insert the header and the footer? It asks you how to, I want to insert my number in the header, for example. I will go directly to insert, header and footer, header, choose the header one. I will shoot this one, the, the, the three columns, with the three columns. Okay, as you see here, my name is, for example, Yusuf. This is my name. 
my name with my number for for example my candidate number this is yusuf 1122 and i want to write here chapter for example chapter 13 and delete this one as you see guys this will appear on every page of the file on every page of the file so if i need to insert an automated page number at the bottom i just go directly to insert footer i want to insert the number here in the middle for example and as you see this is an automated page number this is an automated this is page one as you see and this is page two so this is the way that you are going to control with the header and the footer next time guys next time we are going to answer a past paper question that including all the topics we have taken today so don't worry about that we are going to implement all the topics for today through answering past papers next lesson finally i would like to remind you again that you able to ask any questions at any time so please do don't hesitate to ask i hope to see you very soon take care of yourself and your families and goodbye